The next video is the next installment for Freedom for His Princess and we're up to Do Love Your Lord. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with your entire mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. Matthew 22:37-38. Jesus is asking us, his bride, to surrender her heart to heaven and fall madly and totally in love with him. He wants his bride to give up everything that would keep her from experiencing his love and surrender completely to a loving relationship with him. It is true that I conquered and accomplished much without a life with the Lord. Being raised Jewish, I never gave a thought to Jesus. He was the last place I would have looked for true love. But today I must say he is truly the love of my life and there is no way I could live without him. I remember the night my, I had my first encounter with his extraordinary love. It was in my darkest hour and I felt hopeless and desperate for someone to love me. I should have been happy at the time. I had a good life from the world's point of view. I had lost 50 pounds, gotten off drugs and become a health nut. I had money, success, beauty titles, boyfriends, nice clothes. I drove a nice car and had a calendar full of appointments for places to go and people to see. Yet I still felt desperate for love and cried myself to sleep at night. On the outside I looked like I had it all together, but on the inside I was falling apart. I felt empty, lost and alone, even when I was in a crowd of people who loved me. Weight loss could only change my body, it could not fill my heart, and money could only buy me things, it could not buy me peace of mind. Beauty crowns could get me praises of people, but their praise could not give me peace. Somehow I became so depressed in my quest for true love that I began to fight feelings of suicide. One dark night I convinced myself I had nothing to live for, so I checked into a hotel room with every intention of ending my life with an overdose of sleeping pills. Yet at that moment I cried out to God as my last hope. He must have heard my cry because for the first time in my life I did not feel alone. I actually felt God's holy presence with me. I felt loved and at peace. Even though I did not understand this new love life with the Lord, I discovered one desperate cry for love from the Lord gave me what I had been desperately searching for. Love, joy, peace of mind, a purpose for living. When I called out to God that night, he gave me the greatest crown of all. It was not a crown bestowed by man, but the crown of life, of everlasting life, bestowed by asking Jesus into my heart. This was a love I could not see, yet I could feel. It felt like I kissed heaven. Today's Bible Life Coaching Our Lord promises that if we will seek him with all our heart, we will find him. Maybe you have been a Christian a long time, but you have never really experienced his love the way he longs for you to do. Or maybe you don't feel you deserve his love. The truth is none of us deserve his love, but his strongest desire for us is that we embrace his love as if it were living water, because it is. Life becomes meaningless and faith becomes fruitless if we are not in love with Jesus. I am not talking about salvation. Salvation is not a feeling, but rather an act of faith. I am talking about becoming like a giddy bride when she's on a honeymoon. I know that there are those that will tell you not to be concerned if you don't feel in love with your Lord, but God created us to crave his love and feel his presence. Remember the scripture that says, May I experience the love of Christ, though it is so great I will never fully understand it. May I be filled with the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Let's find creative ways to feel love for and from our very real Prince who gave us his life to prove how much he loves us. I believe if your heaven, his princess love letter, I believe if your heavenly father wrote you a personal love letter for today, it would read like this. Beloved princess, you have captured my heart, princess. I will always love you. From the moment I dreamed you up, I loved and adored you. This love I have for you is ever present and never ending. My heartfelt desire is for you to walk through all your days knowing you are truly the love of my life. I never want you to feel you have to earn my affection. Nothing you have said or done can or will ever change the way I feel about you. I have chosen you to be my precious bride. If you allow your soul to settle into me and become one with me, you will never doubt that I am forever and always devoted to you. Love your Prince Jesus who won't stop loving you. Today's Treasure of Truth 
There is nothing you can do to stop him from loving you. And that ends that installment for freedom for his princess.